Hello, this is Dr. Guy Yatros from Dental Sleep Solutions and the Dental Sleep Medicine Insider Magazine. Today we're going to talk about setting an appropriate fee or the amount that you need in your office to do dental sleep for your patients. Now, we may want to think about this as, as not so much the billing, but what we want to have on a regular basis for our patients in order for us to be lucrative when we're doing dental sleep. It's not all about making money, but we also know if you don't make a similar amount uh, for your dental sleep patients when you're taking your time and your team's time for them, uh, when you're doing these procedures as, as much as you might when you're doing other procedures in your dental office, that you'll be inclined not to do them. Furthermore, you can't run a business that way. So we can take a pretty simple formula by doing this. We can develop a fee by looking at the fees that we charge for procedures that we like to do. So I suggest you pick a fee that, that, that you would like to do uh, that's profitable in your practice. And then we might want to track the doctor and the chair time for doing this. So uh, how much time the doctor takes, how much time maybe the chair is, is being occupied. And we can calculate with that information how much uh, our chair time is worth or how much our doctor's time is worth. And I suggest that you subtract out the lab fee while you're doing this. Uh, and then we, all you have to do is try to figure out how long it's going to take us to treat a sleep patient. And then we just need to reverse the formula. And so a quick example of this, and don't put any credence into these numbers as I'm going through this demonstration, but if we take something like a crown in your dental office that, that maybe you like to do, and I'm just using some easy math for the numbers. Again, the numbers aren't important. Plug in your own numbers. And in, in this case, let's use a crown at 1300 And let's say that total time that we use uh, a chair up in our office to do this procedure is around two hours, maybe an hour and a half for the prep, a half hour to seat. And maybe during that time, if I was doing the crown, I would need a total uh, hour allotted of my time, maybe 30, 45 minutes at the uh, prep appointment and 15 minutes at the delivery. Again, you got to plug your own numbers in here. And let's just make a round even number of $300 for the lab bill. So with that in mind, we've, we've profited $1,000 after the lab bill for this procedure of a crown. So we can calculate the doctor time, which again was one hour in this scenario. So basically the doctor time in this scenario is worth $1,000 an hour. Uh, if we're looking at chair time, we spent two hours of chair time for this procedure. And so there, our calculation comes out to $500 uh, per hour. Uh, we can just reverse this for dental sleep. And I have some numbers here, and you're going to have to figure out what length of time it takes you to do these procedures. But I can tell you these are very conservative numbers, especially using the DS3 system. Uh, it takes us less by far than two and a half hours of chair time from start to finish for most uh, cases that we do in our office, and, and less than an hour of my personal time. Again, we are more efficient because of our DS3 system. Uh, if you take longer, then put in longer amounts of time. Then basically, we can reverse the formula. If we were looking at chair time, we're looking at 500 times two and a half hours or $1,250. If we're looking at doctor time, well, it was one hour by this scenario, so that's $1,000. I suggest in dental sleep that you may want to average these fees, because, or not these fees rather, but the, the, these hours, because you may find that dental sleep takes less doctor time than it does for a procedure like a crown. So if you want to average the two, then we're looking at $1,125 on the average, uh, whether we're looking at uh, chair time or, or doctor time for this. We want to add a conservative uh, lab fee of $350. Uh, if you think your lab fee is more, then add more. But in this scenario, if we net $1,425 after payment from the insurance and payment from the patient on average per case in our office, then in this scenario, we're going to profit equally as, as well as we're doing at one of our more favorite uh, procedures. I hope that helps. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed uh, this version of Dental Sleep Medicine Insider and uh, keep Dental Sleep Solutions and DS3 in mind for all of your dental sleep implementation needs.